Hey guys, this is Biggest Romaniac. This is how you make a cheap Chinese trailer. Amazing, tremendous, excellent, beautiful, tram style. So this is my cheap Chinese trailer that was 4x3. It was very, very short. And as you can see, I've elongated the shit out of it so I could fit three bikes on it. Uh, the axle can handle a thousand pounds. And uh, it was very, very short and I was running at uh, a wheel here on the hitch and I just got sick and tired of that. So uh, one day I got the welder together and I made it a lot longer and a lot more stronger. Um, piece all across, all the way to the front to the, the hitch itself. And then uh, the same piece here in the back, the special sides bolted in. So the trailer was stopping basically over here. And then I have also extended it in the front. The trailer was stopping basically over here. And I have extended it here in the front. Uh, another couple of feet. So now it's exactly the length of the dirt bikes. And then uh, I uh, put these extensions on the left and right so I could load. When I load two bikes, this is parallel to the handlebar. So the bikes fit really, really nice on the trailer. The axle uh, is not too much crap. I've done maybe 5,000 miles on it since I have it. Sometimes with one bike, sometimes with two bikes, it works really, really well. The lights on it were crap, so I made my own. As you can see, a piece of piece of wood with some lights on it. Uh, I also I made it so it matches my car with the uh, amber blinker. But also, it works as a normal trailer if somebody, uh, if I borrow it uh, to any of my friends. I like that it's very, very low. So as you can see, it's, it's very, very low, so you can load the bike on it. Uh, you just pop the wheel and just get on it. You don't even need a ramp. Uh, I put these railings over here just to keep the wheels in place. As you can see, I ran out of material, but I couldn't care less. It worked out for what I needed, so it, uh, it's fine as it is. Plus, now I have a place to sit, so I might modify this uh, and make all my trailers like this, because now you could sit and dress and whatever you need to do on it. Uh, so, uh, also I made this part here in the front and I lifted it, so the wheel rests here, so it's a wheel stop. Uh, I also have the wheel mounted here and for the, those that ask why didn't you put it on the outside is because the wheel helps with stacking the motorcycle so one, we one wheel goes over here and the other one goes against the spare wheel so that way the handlebars don't uh, rub, uh, rub against each other so they stack a lot better. So, so here it is, uh, the bike is loaded. Um, I have I put the bike in the middle all the time so it doesn't uh, flip. Uh, if I put it on the side, it will flip. That's why it has multiple locations for for the trailer. So it's like one of those like tricycles, you know, that has like a, a sidecar. If you put the bike over here, there's going to be no weight, so it's going to pull too hard on this side when you turn left or right. So they're going to create problems because of that. Um, the, the trailer otherwise it works really really well. When I have two bikes, basically I load two this way. When I have three bikes, I load two this way and one slide in the middle. It doesn't fit very well, but I never really have three bikes, so I can't complain too much about it. Um, the, uh, the trailer works really really well. I have this little ramp when I don't feel like turning my bike on after um, you know a long ride and my back hurts or something. I just have a little ramp that does the job. And uh, yeah, this, this, the bearings are good. I packed them with some grease. Uh, but this trailer is, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's little wheels. It's rated for only 45 miles an hour, but for a cheap trailer, it works really, really well. Bought it for $169 with all the discounts and everything from Harbor Freight for signing up some crap on their website. So uh, for $169 and I put another hour of work to make it a little bit longer. It just turned out to be an excellent bike. Uh, trailer. Um, also, as you can see, there's a little bit more weight on the tongue than on the back, so therefore it's very, very stable when I when I drive. The only complaint that I have about it is because even though it's longer than original with two feet, it's still not long enough, so you can't really see it in, when you back up without a bike on it. And even when you have a bike, it's such a, a, a short trailer, it's actually hard to back up. Shorter the trailer, shorter, uh, harder it is to back up. Uh, with your car. So I have a little bit of a hard time uh, backing it up sometimes, but otherwise, as I said, this trailer is, is absolutely amazing since I bought it. It works really, really well. I have absolutely no complaints about it. And that car does 40 miles a gallon uh, just by itself. And with this trailer, it still does 36. So you can barely feel it. I think the only thing that is really making the 
MPG drop is the drag that goes on the bike. This is bonus to the video. Uh, unloads really, really easy the bike. So I don't need no ramp, no nothing. When I come home, I just uh, take the bike off the the trailer really, really easy. No ramp, no nothing because it's so low. So much easier than a truck. All you have to do is just that's it, and then it's out. And then I can go back into my garage. And even though with all the extensions that I put on it, it's still fairly light. The locking mechanism can handle it with no problem whatsoever. Uh, my car, it can only, it's a class one, I think, hitch. And no problem whatsoever, I could haul this trailer 200 pounds tongue weight. And then when I want to put it away, I just, this is a, it follows, it follows really, really easy. So it just follows really easy, even with my bushes and everything over here. I just, I store it here in front of my house. Not supposed to, the association might not like it, but I'm gonna push my luck for a while. And then I have a little thing that I drilled into the concrete. Just lock it in so nobody steals it. And so it's not an eyesore. I put my, my bench in front of it. And it's out of sight, out of mind. And when I need it, just pull it up from there. So I really like that trailer.